Introducing to you Heritage at Cadence, and that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your one and only favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I have a special guest with me. I have Damian Barton. Say hi, Damian. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Damian is a realtor in training who I will be adding to my team. Mm -hmm. And I will be also adding my son to my team. Both Damian and Evan will be going to real estate school mm -hmm. very soon. By the time you watch this video, they probably will be realtors already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damian's also uh, my boyfriend, and he likes to help me with the videos mm -hmm. and also I mainly use them for my coat holder. Um, I bet I'm really good at that job, by the way. Yes, you're very good at it. <laughs> he likes to keep me straight and get my videos. You know, he likes to take some video footage as well as me taking video footage. And it's nice to have someone that actually likes to do videos with me. Mm -hmm. So in the future, see more of Damien with me making awesome videos about the Las Vegas Valley and real estate. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. So. We're going to talk about Heritage at Cadence by Lennar Homes. This is a guard gated 55 plus active adult retirement community in Henderson. Um, it's a newer retirement community and we had an opportunity to check out this community the other day. When you come in the main gate of this beautiful community, there's a 22,000 square foot state of the art um, clubhouse, mm -hmm. right? And that clubhouse has a cafe, a reception kitchen, fitness center and an upstairs bar. Residents have private access to the fitness center and indoor lap pool. This clubhouse also features a hobby and game room, a multi-purpose room, billiards, and an arts and crafts studio. The community ballroom can be rented for large gathering parties. What I liked also was outdoors, residents can actually take advantage of the pool. There was a beautiful patio area and they had like picnic and, and a barbecue spot, to, barbecue spots. Uh, there were eight lighted pickleball courts. Right. Uh, there was a tennis court there. I noticed that we were there. There was uh, two dog parks. One of them, I, they had the small dogs in. The other one was for like like the big boys, right? Right. The big dogs. Uh -huh. There was also two lighted bocce ball courts there, which were pristine, looked like professional grade as well. Right. And uh, we were kind of messing around with the horseshoe pits there for a bit. Yeah, there's two horseshoe pits there as well. Right. I thought it was cool when we were driving around, there was this one guy riding his bike throughout the community, which was very nice. Another thing that I liked about it was, you know, not only do you have the lighted pickleball courts by the clubhouse, there's another set, there's two sets of pickleball courts, the tennis court and two dog parks separated further down in the community. So if you wanted to play pickleball, you didn't have to go specifically to the clubhouse. You can utilize those pickleball courts over there. That was a cool feature. That was, yeah, it makes it more convenient too for, uh, for certain situations. Exactly, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I really love retirement communities and I mean, I'm still young, so it's gonna be a while before we can take advantage of them. But when I am of that age, I will definitely buy in a retirement community because of all the wonderful amenities that they offer. Heritage at Cadence by Lennar Homes started construction in 2015, which I found interesting. I thought it was a little newer than that, but they are still building, okay? But when it's completed, they're gonna have a total of 980 single-story homes, which is cool. I like that. 980 is pretty big. It's bigger than Del Webb at Lake Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, also, Heritage at Cadence Homes for Sale come in five collections. They have the duets, the symphony, the courtyards, the chorus, and the encore. And select home sites feature the RV size garage, which Ooh. was, remember seeing those? Oh, that was my favorite part about uh, driving in that community. When I saw those, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like, like Arizona five. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is exactly what Vegas needs. Yeah, Anderson you know, needs. I always thought, I used to live in Phoenix and a lot of those communities had the RV garages. And I'm like, well, why doesn't Vegas, you know, start, doing homes like that and mm. so i think heritage may be one of the first i could be wrong communities that started doing the um rv garage parking because a lot of retirees like to travel it makes sense yeah yeah and and there were several people who actually had their garages open 
and they had these beasts, these monster RVs in yeah. the garage. You know, so these are these are very very large. Right. Mm -hmm. So the collections that they have, even though they had the five collections, they're not selling all five anymore. Um, but the collections that they had were the duets collection, which are the attached homes. This collection offers two floor plans that range in size between 1808 square feet to 2064 square feet of living space with two bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms, and attached two car garage. The next collection is the Courtyards collection, and this collection features five floor plans that range in size between 1232 square feet to 1422 square feet uh, with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and attached two car garages. The next collection is the Symphony Collection, and this collection offers four floor plans that range in size between 2023 20, square feet to 2236 square feet, with two to three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and attached two car garages. The next collection is the Chorus Collection, and this collection features six floor plans that range in size from 2088 square feet to 2870 square feet, with two to three bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, and attached two car garages. And the last collection is the Encore Collection. And this collection offers four floor plans that range in size from 2516 square feet to 3204 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and attached two to four car garages. Some of these collections have the RV garages. Mm -hmm. So those are the bigger homes. The bigger homes have the better amenities, right? Encore, encore. Yeah. Encore, encore. <laughs> so if you ever want to buy resale, you know, there are a few uh, quick move-ins in this community, but for the most part, there's more resale than there are quick move-ins. Um, uh, you want to buy in the Arc Encore collection and you want the bigger models. But what is selling still is the Symphony collection, which you have the Residence 11 and the Residence 13. And then in the Encore collection that's left is residence two and then residence one with the next gen suite which mm -hmm. is awesome mm -hmm. and then in the courtyards collection you have the copper the grayling and the adonis 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 mm -hmm. and that's all that's really left for sale in this community now i wanted to bring up the hoa the hoa is 100 approximately 190 dollars a month that could change by the time you watch this video and i'm not sure if there are lids in this community i would imagine because it's part of henderson there will be lids. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, you know, I, unfortunately, the website didn't indicate if there were any lids. I would imagine, though, because it is a newer community, that they do have those lids. And lids are like they call them SIDS in Summerlin and Las Vegas. It's Summerlin Special Improvement District. I think lids are Land Improvement District. And what that means is when the builder builds in a community, the city charges the builder for the infrastructure of the community, like the lighting, the sidewalks, the streets. And then the builder attaches that assessment onto the new homeowner. And it usually takes 15 to 20 years to pay off and you pay it semi-annually. Perfect. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, great. If you're interested. I mean, what do you think? Of, what was your vibe of this community? I liked it. I thought it was, um, I, I liked the plan. I liked the layout. I liked how the streets, um, you know, how the streets were formed. Uh, it was beautiful. Um, what really got me excited about the community, though, was those RV garages. That's the that's the thing that, that pushed me over the edge there. But then, in the course, all the amenities and all the things. I mean, I really like, the thing that I like about over some of the other retirement communities was one, when you walk in, you had that state-of-the-art kitchen mm -hmm. where you can do your own cooking or whatever. And then as you go further into the community, they had that cafe. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, being a little further away from things because it is Cadence and Henderson, shopping is not as, as accessible. To have a coffee shop or a cafe that has pastries and stuff right in the community was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, because when we toured Del Webb North Ranch and Del Webb Lake Las Vegas, the Del Webb communities don't have that cafe bar kind of thing, right? Right, right. Yeah, that kitchen was to the yard too. And then the gym was beautiful. The pool outside was beautiful. The indoor pool. So 
the amenities are very beautiful, and I think the HOA is pretty reasonable compared to other retirement communities in the valley. Yeah, 190 bucks, or at least you know at approximately this current, current yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may have to pay a cadence HOA um, as well, just as a side note. And I'm not certain what the cadence HOA is because this is part of the cadence master plan community. But if you live in this neighborhood, or if you're thinking about living in this neighborhood, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. If you live in here, which floor plan did you buy? Which home do you like? What are the amenities really like? What's the community really like, right? And pros and cons too, because we like to be fair about things too and try to understand all sides. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But if you're thinking about buying in, uh, Henderson or in this neighborhood, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below, right? Yep. Uh, but one more thing, you need to like this video. Most importantly, they need to do what? Subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Because I not only talk about Summerlin, I talk about a lot about the Las Vegas Valley homes, communities, neighborhoods. My new website is Neighborhoods in Las Vegas. So the Las Vegas Valley, which includes Henderson and North Las Vegas. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.